Hello, Bruce here. This video talks about stock performance on the Comfort Delgro. Last month, I increased my position in the recovery and the value stock. In Singapore, SIS hats work well in February, and again things getting better this month. Then, what about Comfort Delgro? March 5th, two news came up. The first one, Fly Hole International increased the stake to the more than 5%. Last month, Fly Hole started investing and now reached the 5% benchmark. Second, this is a more important news. The Transport Minister announced that Singapore government is looking into the financial framework to the Downtown Line. Downtown Line is operated by SBS Transit, which Comfort Dead Google owned its 75% stake. Analysts uh, took, took this news in a positive way. Maybank analysts say, assuming Downtown Line achieves a break even through the NRFF3 conversion, this could potentially add 4 cents to the FY2021 EPS. RHB analysts say the review of the downtown line financial framework will be helpful for earning due to the reduction of the losses. So stock prices reacted. March 5th was the announcement day. After that, it's, uh, it's up. SBS Transit stock also reacted. It's up from the March 5th. Then, First simple question is the time to buy or add is that I myself already bought 100k shares at the 1.57 last month, mainly with the two factors, recovery play and the 2021 budget play. Recovery play, I think already everybody familiar is that did you watch this program February 22nd, CNBC, Jim Cramer, not too late to make a big bet on this reopening stock is a Disney, Marriott, Win, and a, a, you know, airline, also cruise, those stock is that he pick up. In the same way, I actually pick up this full stock as a part of the recovery rally stocks. Uh, in February 1, February 26, is that during this time, the SIA up 21%, SATS up 14%, Genting and the Comfort Delgro did not move so much, but, but now the Genting uh, move a little bit. Is Today it closed 90 cents, Comfort Delgro closed 1.67 now. Next factor is the 2021 Singapore budget. That was released on the February 16th. Is that two initiatives impacted on the Comfort Data Group? Is that first one is that from the Emerging Stronger Together's COVID-19 resilience package is a support for specific sectors. COVID-19 driver relief fund for taxi and the private hire car drivers is that this initiative is a help like a Comfort Data Group business. Second one is from the Singapore Green Plan 2030. It's a public and a private partnership for the electric vehicles related initiatives that also impacted on the Comfort Data Group. It's a two analysis actually that take this one with the positive. It's from Philip Capital. It's a, uh, they say that the focus on the electric vehicles will be positive for the taxi operator Comfort Data Group. And also Comfort Data Group will win because of the improving economy and the, their taxis which are already transitioning toward the electric vehicles, most are already hybrid. And from the C3 is a first one Singapore listed company that could benefit from electric car proliferation is a Comfort Data Group and it's listed subsidy Bicom Limited. Bicom has a capability to carry out ins inspection on the full electric cars and the plug-in hybrid cars. And also, potential benefit of increasing public transport usage include Comfort Delgro and its listed subsidy SBS Transit. These are two factors for my decision to enter the Comfort Delgro. So, after my purchase in February, March 5th downtown line review news lifted the stock price up by 5%. But recovery rally does not really come yet, which means possibly say still recovery rally opportunity remain. Then the where is it? Where is it in the Comfort Delgro business? Looking at their revenue, Comfort Delgro key business are public transport and taxi, which covers more than 90% in 2019 and 2020. We need to closely look for the area for recovery in these two segments. So first segment is a public transport, bus and rail. This is core business for the Comfort Data Grow revenue share is more than 75% even in the 2019 before the COVID, I mean. Most of operating profit came from here in the 2020. In, the, in 2020, Comfort Data Grow survived because of the bus business in Singapore and Australia with a stable revenue stream. Without this, I don't know whether Comfort Data Grow can survive in 2020. So bus contracting model is a key. The BCM scheme ensures the stability of earnings, which removes the risk from the fluctuation in the ridership numbers. 
in public transport segment uh, recovery rally area uh, opportunities exist outside this bus in Singapore and Australia. Where is it? Is uh, where the area for the recovery rally is uh, my view first is a uh, increased MRT. This is MRT in Singapore. So area for recovery is a uh, exists in the MRT ridership in Singapore. So downtown line is year over year 46 percent down. North East line is 41 percent down. So this down mean like opportunities there. My view. Next area for recovery, I think, is the UK market profitability. So 2020 revenue, 23% cover UK iron. That's a big operating profit. 2020, however, minus 28 million here in the UK iron. Is that uh, compared with the 2019, is a 69 million gap here. But gap is opportunity for the year we growth in the 2021. So this is an opportunity recovery one. What the Comfort Delgro is doing in UK is uh, through Metro Line. They have a uh, 1,600 buses, third largest in London. Through Computer Cab, they have 2,300 taxis, largest back cab in London. Second largest is Aberdeen, this is Scotland. Comfort Delgro uh, shared their business outlook about UK on the February 15th earning call. They said like a situation in the UK remained dire with the country in the full lockdown. You know, what the BBC uh, told us is that this week is a roadmap for the lifting lockdown. Is uh, They said in England, all restrictions will be lifted by 21st June at the earliest. As a part of the four stage roadmap, based on the searching condition being met, such as a successful vaccine rollout. Scotland has announced that the more people will be able to meet up outside from 12th March. So, what the status of the vaccine? vaccine? This is the share of the total population that received at least a one vaccine dose. UK already reached 33.6%. More than one third of the population already got the one vaccine dose. US is 18.7%. Singapore is 6.7%. Compared with them, the UK is way ahead on this. What about daily new cases in the UK? It's a, it, it still have a more than 5,000 cases, but it went down a lot. So, Looking at the level of the vaccine dose speed and the current like a uh, new cases uh, like a trend, uh, lockdown can be lifted on schedule. I think on lifted now probability is higher. I think a UK business can contribute to the recovery play. These are the area for recovery in the public transport segment. Now move to the taxi business segment. Most people maybe think that Comfort Delgro is a taxi business. I think uh, I myself think like that, but this 2020 revenue by segment show that taxi business only covered 12.5 percent before COVID. Even before COVID, only 17 percent in 2019. So coverage is smaller, but this segment is a key for their operating profit. 2019, uh, this segment bring 104 million operating profit, but 2000. 20 is it went down 64 million so that gap is 168 million that's a lot this gap is huge but uh, which means is a lot of opportunity for the recovery in the 2020 year we are growth on this taxi segment is a profitable in the comfort telegram is a 25 percent of all operating profit came from the taxi segment in the 2019 2020 is a minus 64 million. This gap is huge, which means is uh, uh, again is opportunity is uh, really great for the 2021 year of year growth. Where we are now is a uh, taxi ridership already reached 80 percent of the pre-COVID level. Uh, not much upside for the revenue itself. Is that uh, this is a profit center? Is uh, so margin improvement is a uh, really key on this. When you look at the more details, is um, so good thing is uh, clearly no more impairment of the uh, vehicles on the goodwill. So Q4 no more impairment after the Q2, Q3, 50 million was recorded as an impairment last fiscal year, uh, but that may not happen this year. This is good, and uh, we can say that more optimized is operation by a digital transformation. Uh, they focus on the digital transformation. For example, like uh, recently released like a uh, new apps, trial apps, but this is not uh, a clear story yet. In this segment, when I analyze this one, I can see more little bit negative side, especially in the taxi business in Singapore. 
so government subsidy uh, helped a lot uh, last year, but the government uh, subsidy may not continue, uh, you know, forever in Singapore. So taxi rental waiver only available by June 2021 only. What happened afterward? Petrol duty uh, rate cost increases and are only uh, also special re rebate available for four months only for uh, you know for little girl. But what, what happened after four months? And the second is a taxi fee decreased by 20 percent year over year to nine thousand. So 2019 December, uh, Comfort Delgro has more than 10,000 taxi free in Singapore. So total number of the free down means like a revenue down. Then the more important three competition. So rider hitting like a Grab and Gojek is a stronger and stronger, stronger, stronger. Uh, then the, how can they compete? They have a regional coverage is a scale merit they have is that they cover like a, a fintech as well. I don't know how much uh, Comfort Delgro can compete this one. So that's why I do not think Singapore taxi business can contribute to the recovery play. I went through the weird area for recovery and then what the analysts say about Comfort Delgro. After 2020 earning release on the February 15th, so five analysts here is uh, everybody say buy and a target price the 1.78 to 1.99. So looking at the momentum is a volume trend for three months from the December to March is a uh, volume is uh, going up momentum looks good and uh, also again the price looks good is a price up with a volume up that's a good momentum then uh, looking at the technical size uh, uh, you know resistance rise uh, 1.71 is a uh, we now hit the this resistance line is a uh, hope this is gonna be break after break is a resistance rise uh, 1.91 then the other size a uh, 58 is uh, this is strong and uh, MACD is uh, going up uh, this portion is uh, we don't know whether we go up or not but uh, at, at least uh, this going up good trend now so then what is my approach I already bought 10k shares at the 1.57 last month purpose is a more short term one to three months break I plan to keep monitoring UK reopening and I will not add any shares unless any new impacted news available like uh, electric vehicles, uh, tech transformation. And I wish uh, I can sell half 1.78. This is a UOB target price. And uh, I can sell all uh, at the 1.91 resistance line is by the end of the May 2021. Uh, I hope this uh, approach is going to work. Is a thank you for company and a good deal and a good day.